Ah, so this came to my doorstep last night. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Vankyo Leisure 510 Full HD Projector. I'm excited about this thing because I've already used it and it is marvelous. Let's dig into this thing. First of all, you get this nice little carrying case right here. Let me open it up. All right, oh, is that a pocket? Oh, wow, I didn't even notice. You get a, <laughs> this is all the instructions and stuff right here. It just comes in this little pocket. Man, that's a thick manual, probably different languages. And then once you've unzipped it all the way, let me just take this out. I'm gonna put the projector off to the side because we need to talk about what it comes with. I'm really excited about what it comes with because it comes with everything. Everything you need except batteries for the remote. These take two, uh, I've already got them in here. I think it's two AAAs. Yeah, two AAA batteries. You get an HDMI cable, nice look. And then you get the power plug, which I've already unwrapped it. Then you get this adapter right here. You got your plug in, then you got your uh, your AV cables right there. And I think that's it. And honestly, I don't think you need much more. So let's put this back to the side. And I will say this is a nice carrying bag. So if you need to take it somewhere, which you can definitely be assured that it's gonna be protected while you're traveling. Now, since we got the remote right here, let's just go over it real quick. We've got power, back, pause and play, then you got forward, you got your uh, multi-function buttons right here, your directional pad, then you got a back, a menu, and I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to figure out what that is. And then we got a plus and minus. But other than that, the remote's not too special. Then of course you got your power plug and your HDMI right there. Now I will say uh, during my testing, I will say that the power plug is not as long as I would like it to be. Um, if, if you're gonna be sitting this on a tabletop or something, you're definitely gonna need an extension cord. I would say, I don't, this isn't even five feet. This is about four feet maybe. So yeah, I'm, I'm just really not happy with the length of this cord right here. Definitely might wanna get a long one. Now that that's out of the way, let's get the start of show in here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this lens cap off. Man, that is a gigantic lens it's got there, but let's just put the lens cap right there. Look at this beast of a machine. All right, you got your focus wheel right here. And man, that, yeah, you're not gonna be hitting that on accident. It's got a nice grab to it. That way you don't hit it on accident. And then you got your keystone right there. That way you can line that shot up perfectly. And then you've got your multi-function pad right here. You got your up, down, left, and right. That way you can navigate through all the menus. And just like on the remote, you got your four buttons right here. Menu, power, it looks like exit, and maybe a reverse or something like that right there. But now let's go ahead and turn it around so you can see it. Now back here, you got all the interfaces you need, man. You got your, I don't even know what that is anymore. I think it's a display port. That's like some old school technology right there. But we have it here in this projector. Then we have not one, but two HDMI inputs right here. You got your five volt out USB right there. Then you got a USB here. Then to match up with that adapter I showed you earlier, you got your AV input there. You got a headphone jack here. Then you can put in a standard SD card right there. And then of course there's your power input. Then you got your on and off toggle. That's it as far as buttons and interfacing on this thing. But we also have this button right here for a little kickstand that comes out. That way you can kind of sit it up and then you can adjust your keystone from back here just to line that shot up perfect like I talked about before. Then you just push that button right there again and then you put it down. I, you know what? Enough said about the exterior of this thing. Let's get into what the actual picture looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler. The picture is beautiful. I mean, I'm really surprised. It's actually really bright. I've actually watched it in my house with the lights on. Now it's gonna be hard to see the picture, but the lights were still on. Now when you turn the lights off, the picture is nice and crisp. The refresh rate is good on here. Everything just looks nice. And I was really amazed by the sound. I think that's the most impressive thing about this projector is the sound. It has stereo sound. I, I, I turned down the sound on my surround sound and I, cause I thought it was still coming out of the speakers, but no, it was this thing. It has stereo speakers and it really does sound fantastic. So there's really honestly no need. If you if you got like a, you know, quick movie night for the kids or something, or you want to put this up somewhere, maybe at an office or just do some type of presentation, you do not have to worry about hooking up exterior speakers to this thing because the sound that comes out of here is spectacular for a projector. Now it's not movie theater sound, but I mean, this is really great for a projector. Now let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up so we can see that picture. Now it's daytime in here and uh, I've got this window open right there. You can see it, it is super bright over there. I got that window open and I got a window with a little bit of light uh, creeping in behind me. But I gotta tell you, man, the picture on this thing is super crispy. I cannot believe this is coming out of a budget style projector. If you can see up there, that's my normal projector. That is an Epson Powerlight uh, 
52,000 or I don't know what it is, but it's a it's an Epson projector. This one actually looks uh, it's it's right on par with that. But I will tell you what, the speakers on this thing, I take back what I said about the speakers on this thing. The speakers are tremendous. Like it, it sounds like they are coming out of the stereo. It actually supports Dolby, so that's why it sounds so good. It is the speakers in this thing are just crazy and it matches this crazy crisp picture right here. Now mind you, I do have a lot of light coming in through the, this big old front window right here. Now before I actually show you the picture, I wanna talk about throw distance. So if you're worried about throw distance, this one isn't that bad. I've got mine sitting about 12 feet away from the screen and that is a 120 inch uh, projector screen right there. So if you're doing about 120 inches in your house, and you got about 12 feet, you're good to go. Other than that, you shouldn't have any problems. For all the rest of the measurements you need, go ahead and check that spec sheet. Now let's get into this. So just so you know, I've actually got this thing running HDMI from my phone. You need a separate dongle for that. But I've got it running from my phone, HDMI into the back of the uh, HDMI one port. And it is showing up so beautiful. I mean, this, this video is probably not gonna do it any justice. So this is a video I shot earlier today. The uh, Backbeat Pro Plus. And to me, the do you hear that sound? Oh my God, that sound. Those headphones were hideous, but then I ended up seeing these Batbeat uh, 810s and I was like, all right, I can get down with that design. So let me go ahead and finish unboxing these. I've already listened to them and I'll be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed, but we're gonna go ahead and go through with this review. So in the box you get, a all right, enough watching myself on 120 inches. This thing is super feature rich. It's got, you know, you can change your color, warmth and, and the coolness and all that kind of stuff. It has plenty of interfaces in there. You got two USBs, you got two HDMI ports. If I'm gonna have anything bad to say about this thing, the two things that I don't like, number one, it doesn't have any uh, type of mounting screws. There's no screws on the bottom or the top or anything that you can actually mount to uh, that I can actually see. So you, I don't know, the universal uh, mounting things, they might or might not work, I'm not sure. You'll have to look around for something. Uh, it's definitely more made for a tabletop. Let me get you another look at it. Now, the other thing I would have a complaint about is the cord length, but that's not such a big deal. All you gotta do is get an extension cord or you can just go ahead and buy yourself a longer cord. But as for this thing right here, I say if you're in the market for a projector and your budget is low, this is the way to go. I seriously cannot believe the picture quality and the sound that comes out of this thing. If somebody came to your house and this was playing, they would think it cost well over five to $600. That's how amazing this projector is. But I ain't claiming to be no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do dig this projector right here. Anyways, before I get out of here, tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see y'all at the next one.